Hello again, here we are to go with some more Mathlicious Maths. Mathlicious Maths? Yes, Mathlicious Maths. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to divide the monomials. So first of all, how would you write x to the 6 out in longhand? How would you write out x to the 3? Stop the video, do that, see and work out how many x's that we do have. Okay, so what you should have done is got x and x and x and x and x and x and underneath is x and x and x. So we've got six x's at the top and three x's at the bottom. Now if we do this and read, x divided by x becomes 1. x divided by x becomes 1. x divided by x becomes 1. We are left with no x's at the bottom and we are left with three x's at the top. So what you'll end up with is x to the 3. Okay. So a quick way to see to do that would be looking at this number and this number. And what you could have done was 6 minus 3. Because 3 of these made 3 of these disappear, which is like subtracting. And that, of course, is what the rule is. So they might write it with a division sign or we've written it as a fraction. So when you have this, you take the power here and you subtract the power there. And you get n minus n. So where before we were doing add the powers that be, add the powers that be. Now we're going to take away the powers that be. Take away the powers that be when you are dividing. So you subtract the powers. And of course, what must match all the time is the base matches. So in this case, it was x was the base. In this case, it was a was the base. Now, of course, you can do this with numbers as well. Uh, we could work out longhand what these numbers were and divide them, but we can use the power rule. So here, in my head, I'm thinking 3 minus 2, which, of course, is 5 to the 1. And 5 to the 1 is just 5. Okay? See if you can decide what this is going to become before I do it. Stop the video, have a little think, have a little go, come back when you're ready. Here we go. So, first of all, 10 divided by 5. Those numbers reduce to 2 and 1. y to the 4, y squared underneath. So two of these are going to divide into this and leave you with only 2. But that's the same as saying y, 4, minus 2. But I actually think of it like this in my head. So I think two of those cancel two of these. Sorry, I don't like the word cancel. But reduce this 4 down to a 2. This one, two of these z's. Are going to divide with two of these z's to become one, and that's only going to leave us with one. But if I use the power rule of subtracting here, subtracting the powers, I would have that. And then two over one is obviously just two. Four minus two, like we said, is already y squared. And here is z to the one. And I don't write the one there. Um, we we'll just assume and know that it's there. Okay. Decide how you write this out longhand and what it's going to be equal to. I'll just lift it up a bit for myself. Okay, so x is x, 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 x at the bottom. And if I get my magic red pen, x divided by x is 1, x divided by x is 1, x divided by x is 1, and all we're left with is 1. But you knew that, because anything divided by itself is 1, and it always is. But if we use the power rules that we've got up here, it says we should subtract the powers. So if I do 3 minus 3, I end up with a power x to the 0. So by definition of how these power numbers, index numbers, exponent numbers work, anything to the power 0 is always 1. And it's because this is what's happening. This that you know that is a, a mathematical truth all the time. So anything, if it's all to the power 0, is always going to be 1. So of course, make sure you've copied the notes down. And I'll just hold that up a bit so you've got the whole screen. Make sure you've copied all those notes down. And then I'm going to slide this table across. I'm going to do the next board. So make sure you've got this all down first. Halt it. Make sure it's all there. I'm going to use these same, same ideas sorry, to finish off. So here we go using all the <laughs> technical, technical prowess uh, to get to the new position. And here we go again. So I'm going to ask you to do the same thing again. Write these out longhand and see what you get. So stop the video, give that a go. Turn it back on when you're ready and let's go. Okay, let's go. You've got some ideas. Okay, so again, it's x, x, x. This time we have 5x's at the denominator. 
So we've got that. Let me get my magic red pen to make things turn things into one again. That becomes one. That becomes one. That becomes one. Okay. So what do we have along here? There is still a one there. But here I've still got x and x, so I've got x to the two. Okay. Now, if we did it by the power rules, we said we have to subtract the powers. So if I do this, it means x to the three minus five means I get x to the minus two. But we did the question like this, and this is completely a valid uh, method, and we ended up with a solution like this. We've used the power rules, which we know work. We've done this, and we've also ended up with this. This means that this and this are equivalent to each other. So it means that x to the minus 2 is equivalent to, writing it as 1 over, x squared. So what does that mean? Okay, so if we look at this pattern here, this is the x, this is the minus 2. What happened? Well, we made a reciprocal. So we've got 1 over, and the a, the base, is now here as the denominator. But what happened to the power number? It became positive. So really, the negative is just a position, because we want the x squared to be here. And so this is how we've got this one, we've turned into this one. Now let's say we have it this way around. So to make the um, minus sign disappear, we have to make the reciprocal, which means the base is going to appear here. And because we've uh, dealt with the, uh, the negative sign here by making the reciprocal, this power number still has to be here. Okay, so let's see what you think these are going to be. So write down what you think the answer is for this one and this one, and then when you're ready, press go, come back and see if you got it right. Okay, so x to the minus 2, which of these does it look like? It looks like this one. So we're going to make a reciprocal, and the negative power is going to become a positive. So let's make the reciprocal, and instead of a minus 2, I just need to write 2. Okay, this one looks in this form, so we make the recipro reciprocal, so the base now is at the top. Instead of being minus 4, it's going to become 4. Okay, so try and do the next three. Do it in pencil, just in case you make a mistake. Again, when you're ready, press green for go, and then see if you match with me. So again, this one is this format, where the base is 3 and the power is minus 2. So I'm going to make a reciprocal which means it's going to be 1 over 3. The minus 2 power that was here is going to appear here, but now it's just positive. And of course you know that 3 squared is 9. So we could turn it into a fraction to get rid of the power numbers. This one looks like this one. So a reciprocal again, so now it's going to be 2 at the top. If you like, there's a 1 at the bottom. Um, minus 3 is now just going to become a positive 3 there. That becomes 8 over 1, which is just 8. If you want, you don't even have to bother having the 1 there, because you know anything divided by 1 is itself, but I'll just put it in for the completeness of the notes. This one, sometimes people get wrong. This minus 1 is acting on everything in here. If it just said 2x to the minus 1, then the, it's only acting on the x. So I'm going to add that as another extra one in there for some of you that have made a mistake. So I'm going to make the reciprocal of this, which means it becomes 2 to the x at the top. The minus 1 becomes the power of 1. Anything to the power of 1, it just stays the same. If it looked like this, it would mean what you've really done is the x becomes the reciprocal, so it's at the top. Sorry, the x is the reciprocal, so it's gone to the bottom. But the 2 is still there, and this minus 1 has become the power of 1, and so it's 2 over x. Right, so here... Because the parentheses, the power is acting on both of them. Here, there is no parentheses, and the power is acting only on this first base. This base, this is the base. Here, the whole thing, 2x, is the base. Okay. So then, of course, now we have the fun question last. So stop the video and see if you can figure out the last example without me, and then press for go, and I'll talk about how I went through it. Okay, here you are. You're back. Now, there's several ways to do this. So first of all, I want to tidy up all the negative powers that I've got inside. So 4 and 3 are okay, they can stay in the same position. Uh, I've got an x squared there, that can stay there. Now, I've got x to the minus 3, so I'm going to make the reciprocal. So instead of being here, 
it's going to end up at the top and I've got x to the 3. I've got a y to the 5 at the bottom, I'm happy with that, it's positive, but I've got a y to the minus 2. I'm going to make the reciprocal, boop, it's going to end up there. z to the 5, z to the 3, I'm quite happy where they are. All my powers inside now are positive. Notice I've not done anything with that one yet to start with. So I'm just going to tidy up inside here now. So the 4 and the 3 stay the same. Here we're adding the powers that be. So we get 5. Here this is an adding the powers. So we have 7 of them. Here we are subtracting the powers. And it's 5 minus 3. Or 3 of these reduce 3 of these to 1. So you're left with 2. And there's 2 still uh, at the top of the uh, fraction there. So I'm just saying what I'm saying. I'm trying to make, remember what I said. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is get rid of the negative part of this. So to make the negative part disappear, I just need to make the reciprocal. So this is now at the top. This part will now appear here. Now just do that with my z because otherwise people can't read my z very well. Now we've got the squared outside. So if you remember, this is going to act on the 3, it's going to act on the 7, it's going to act on the 4, it's going to act on the power number here at 5, it's going to act on the power number of 2. And what do we do when it's outside? Is it add the powers, subtract the powers, or multiply the powers? It is multiply the powers. So it's 3 to the power 1, which is going to become 3 squared. y to the 7, that means 7 times 2, so that's going to be y to the 14. The 4 to the power 1, so that's going to become 4 squared. x to the 5 times the powers, that's going to become x to the 10. z squared times that is going to become z to the 4. And of course, most often, we take these numbers and we just turn them into regular numbers. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. There's a magnet in the way that's going to get out of the way. x to the 10, z to the 4, and y to the 14. All happy and done. Make sure, you, uh, make sure you've got all the notes down. I'll just push the board a bit like that so you get a cleaner view of the whole screen. Uh, and then it's time for you to do some questions. If you're still struggling and you don't understand, please come and get in touch with me and ask me uh, for clarifications. Thank you, and now it's time to do some lovely maths work for you all. Bye-bye.